Greetings YouTube, Tacoma Comics here. How's everybody doing? It has been a long time, probably only like two weeks, but it feels like a super long time since I've made a video. I haven't been watching many videos recently. I uh, had just been super busy, I had a bunch of snow days like two weeks ago that canceled soccer games. So then I had to coach like four soccer games in a row, didn't get home at all, taking care of you know, the kids in Taekwondo after I get home and just haven't had time to sit down and do this. Been buying comics and putting comics away from Comic-Con, but I don't think I've done any, like, extensive hauls. I've just been, like, buying my weekly pulls and stuff. So, just been out of it for a while, but uh, glad to get back to it. Glad to be here with you guys. This is my 100... I'm waving a knife around. This is my 100 subscriber contest video. Um, I hit 100 subscribers... I guess yesterday or earlier today, I'm actually at like 106 now, which is kind of cool. Uh, really happy for that. But um, I want to start this off by opening something up. Um, the reason I kept this is because the theme behind this is actually going to be the theme for my contest video. So this is from the 9.2 crew. Uh, I believe it was the Doom himself who uh, packaged this up. Let's see if I can cut this without destroying it. Uh, I won this on one of their... Uh, live videos I think a week ago on the weekend or two weeks no it must have been two weeks ago it was a question about uh this three pronged weapon and so I just wrote trident right away and I guess they were looking for um Poseidon's trident or Neptune's trident um but I wrote trident and they got it in first and they gave it to me so big thanks to my Latin teacher from high school knowing that the trident three pronged instrument I remember that our Latin teacher showed us the awesome awesome movie clash of the titans way back in the day so i am super psyched I, I won this and you know you never complain about winning a free comic and i certainly wouldn't complain about this uh even though i already have it this is one of those ones where i could have 20 copies 25 copies and i'd be ecstatic this is a recent comic but one of my all-time uh favorites all-time favorites i guess one of my new favorites would be a better way of putting it there it is, really nicely packaged. I was just looking at this on, um, watching the 9.8 Posse Do video, and somebody was writing on the chat that nobody knows how to package like uh, YouTube people in the comic community. They do it even better than some sellers. And I definitely think that's true because this comic is super well packaged. I don't see a problem at all. I didn't expect anything less. Oh, the Doom put in some Mylar too. I'm really excited about that. There we go. So, oops, it's supposed to be a big reveal. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get some of this tape off. Oh man, looking at it now, I'm, I'm psyched, even though I know what it was. I'm super psyched, super stoked. Now, if you've ever been on a, a one of those live videos, 9.2 group does, really good group of guys, really interesting, good information. The Star Wars 40 Adi Grana Virgin variant. And again, I've gone through this before, but this is Princess Leia, the way that you kind of imagine her post uh, Return of the Jedi. You know, almost kind of like the, the Dodson's comic book that they did a while back. Just like on a mission, she's got the Force, but she never went into train to be a Jedi. She wanted to become a fighter pilot and work with the Rebellion. And to me, everything in this cover kind of exemplifies that so big thanks really appreciate that doom um you know they call themselves 9.2 crew but this is if they said 9.8 i mean i'm not going to open it up and look at it i'm just going to keep it like this but i don't see any corner damage i don't see any dimples i definitely don't see any spine damage i mean that is a beautifully packaged and and sent book and just an amazing cover um you know no nothing against Adi Grana when he signed mine it was kind of brown pen and it didn't like make a distinct mark I almost prefer it the virgin cover unsigned um just looks a bit nicer Ooh, I'm getting a little too close there it looks freaky so really psyched one more time thanks to the 9.2 crew I did get a little pickup this weekend I went shopping at the mall with my uh my wife and kids, and there's a hot topic there. I'm not usually a <laughs> purveyor of hot topic, um, 
but they had the uh, Hot Topic exclusive Isabel from Saga. I wasn't going to get these after I um, lost the bag with the Lion Cat um, Glow in the Dark exclusive from Skybound. I lost that at, at Emerald City Comic Con. Anybody who saw a blue plastic bag with a Saga pop in it from Emerald City Comic Con, that was mine. I'd appreciate it back. But I saw this, so now I probably will try to get all of those. All right. 100 subscriber uh, video. The reason I showed and I waited two weeks to show that book that the Doom sent me was because I want, um, it's going to tie in, like I said, to my video. So you got to be 18 and over. You got to be subscribed to my channel. Those are kind of the, the usual rules everybody has. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to do an A-OK, -okay, an act of kindness. Hopefully it'll be an awesome act of kindness, A-OK. -A -okay. Not to me. Don't send me anything that would be really too self-serving. Um, I just want you to gift somebody in the community something. Uh, it could be a comic book. Most likely will be a comic book. But if it's a pop, a Star Wars figure, a t-shirt, whatever it is, uh, make a video of yourself. Preparing it, packaging it, or showing it, and talking about it, and talking about who you're sending it to and why. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I was really excited uh, just to see this part of the community. Like, I just started making comic book haul videos because I started seeing comic book haul videos. I'm like, hey, that looks like fun. But the, uh, the you know, people talk about community, and it's this really ephemeral thing. This this concept There's no defined community. It's, it's what we say it is. And it really exists as much as we really make it exist. And the fact that there are other people out there making videos, talking about comics, uh, discussing comics, trading comics, um, was really cool. And I, I love that part of it. But the part that really shocked me was just to learn and to see that there are people out there um, giving like comics to friends of theirs or people that they know through the community. Oh, I know that guy really likes covers uh, that look like this. I found this. And so I, I sent it to him. Um, so I'd love to encourage more of that. Again, not to me, but to somebody else, please make an A-OK. -okay. So you're going to make a video of yourself, either packaging it or just showing the item, talking about who you're going to give it to and why you're giving it to that person. Anything else you want to explain, pack it all up. Um, put the link to the video in the comments to this video. So that's how you're going to get the, uh, the official entries. You're 18 and over subscribed. And you put a comment to this video with um, a link to the video that you made showing your A-OK. -okay. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. But I think that should pretty much cover it. Uh, I was originally, originally going to split this up into four prize packages and let four people choose which one they wanted. But uh, I don't know how many entrants I'm going to get. And I, I worry because everybody, I guess, worries about whether or not their prizes are good enough. So I'm just going to make this one big mega prize about... 20 comic books here, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. Just need another sip because my voice, I've been yelling at all those soccer games. We got our final soccer game tomorrow. I already made the thank you cards that I give to the girls on my team. I said, thank you for another undefeated season. So we better win tomorrow, otherwise I'm in trouble. But uh, here we go. So let's start off with Animosity number one, signed by Marguerite Bennett. Really great, great comic. If you're not reading this, I highly suggest getting on it from Aftershock. I'm throwing in Animosity number 12 because I have an extra copy and it's there. Motor Girl number one, signed by Terry Moore. This is another excellent comic. If you have not read Motor Girl, I think it only went 10 issues. Um, if you don't have some sort of emotion, then I don't know what to say about you, man. It's... It's hard to read this one and not get the feels. It's a really tender story. Um, this is Avengers Ultron Revolution number 11. This is the first appearance of uh, the animated uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. And this is also signed. It's hard to see in the silver there. Signed by G. Willow Wilson. You all know this young lady. So please try to win. Harley Quinn, New 52, number one. Signed over here by Chad Harden. I uh, did not get Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti to sign this. I was saw them at Rose City Comic Con two years ago. I really should have stood in line and gotten their signatures to add to this, but I didn't, so I apologize for that. Uh, this is The Fissure, number one. It's a horror comic book. Um, I can't even remember what, what company this is from. It's from a smaller company. I think it's from Vault. And this is at the bottom here. 
blind box cover. Uh, so this is a special coverage to this. Uh, blind box comics is one of those subscription services that I had uh, subscribed to about two years ago. And unfortunately they closed down, which is really upsetting, but uh, it's a pretty cool comic. Here's that guy I was talking about, Deadpool. Um, this is Marvel Collector Core. This was a special variant. Um, they were giving away at Emerald City Comic Con a couple of years ago and they were signing it. And the signature here is by the guy who does a lot of the design work for I guess the Marvel Collector Core dolls or um, or figures or something. I'm not quite sure. I had to look it up because it was very hard to find whose signature this was. He's not listed as the cover artist on any of the variants that are inside the covers. So I had to do some research there. So um, don't think it's that super rare or anything, but uh, it's certainly not a common thing. Got this little one here, Vampire Hunter D, Message from Mars. Apparently this is a Japanese horror comic or a Japanese anime turned into an American horror comic. Not exactly sure to tell you the truth and be honest with you, but this is one of five. There you go. And that was from Blind Box Comics as well. Monstro Mechanico, number one, new um, comic out from Aftershock Comics. Uh, this is, yeah, new comic. Faith, number one, signed by Jody Hauser and Kevin Wada. Got some old X-Men here, 178, 196. These are not in the best of condition. And you can see over here, somebody put a 30 cent stamp on a 65 cent X-Men book. I don't know. Some, so there's some early Claremont, not early Claremont, there's some late Claremont X-Men, uh, 254 and 246. Uncanny, Claremont, can't go wrong. Number six, Wolverine, and you'll never guess what's on the other side here. Number six, Wolverine. Number 77, which I love that cover. That's really cool. That's a really cool cover. Unfortunately, there is a rip up here on number 80. So I'm throwing that in any way. If you're not familiar with 80, this is the first test tube appearance of X-23. I don't know when that became a thing, test tube appearances. I think it was with X-Men 201, the first test tube appearance of uh, Cable. But anyway, this is uh, there's a test tube in there that says X-23 right on it. It's written on it. So make of that what you will. Sorry about the rip. That's just how I got it. Batman Devastator. I guess I got an extra copy of this, so throw that in there. Nothing special about this other than I think it's a really awesome cover. Wonder Woman 16 Rebirth. Greg Rucka on that. I love this variant here. Batman 36. No longer Rebirth. I guess that was done after a certain number of issues. But look at that cover. That's just that's well done. But not as well done as this one. Batman 14. Batman and Catwoman, I just, there's something about that drawing, man. I it's just, that's, I like that a lot. I really like that. And the last two comics here, little jokes and riddles, um, 26 and 27. That's kind of an iconic, not iconic, that's putting in way too much out there. That was a popular cover when it came out. All right, so there you go. Nice stack here, some number ones. Some newer comics, some unknown comics, some super well-known comics, some signatures, some Claremont X-Men, a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to get one or a thousand entries. Probably won't get a thousand entries, but one, two, three, four, whatever I get. Um, I'll just do that random.org thing where you spin the dice to see how many times you're going to randomize the list of names. I'll randomize the list of names and, uh, and I'll choose, you know, whichever one is at top will be the winner. And I'll get your address and send you these comics, all right? Let me know if you have any questions, if I didn't explain anything right. Um, once again, just love the community, love love the love from the community, and I love seeing that love spread. So A-OK, -okay, not to me. Uh, somebody else, put your link to the video in the comments below. This is Tacoma Comics saying have a good day, and if you have not subscribed to me yet, please subscribe to me. Give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, tell me what's going on, all right? Take care, guys.